What's going on, guys? Today's episode is all about those of us who aren't aware that we are living in victimhood. You have a victim mindset. You can't see that everything that keeps happening to you is because of the way you think and is because of your backbone, your mindset and your backbone. What happens is you go through a situation. You don't like how you were treated. You don't like how you were manipulated. You don't like how you were used and abused, mistreated. You feel like you got the short end of whatever you just put yourself into and guess what until you're aware of your mindset your approach to these things your backbone cannot defend it because you will always be the victim you'll always be on the back end you know you'll always get the short end of things you'll always realize things after the fact because you're not being proactive you always put in these reactive positions but guess what in life there are sharks in the water and sharks smell the blood okay guess what there are people that you see every day people in the workspace a face in the crowd while you walk in the street there are people in this world who pride themselves on manipulating other people, people who have to use others to get to where they want to be, people who got to step on other people like you to get their means met, to get from A to B. They need little kind, passive aggressive pushovers, uh, weak minded people who cannot see what's be happening. They need people like you to get to where they want to go. On your end, until you're aware of why you're always the victim, you're always going to keep being the victim. Relationships, business transactions, work situations, life in general. You're going to become, you are the little fish. Until you're aware that you're the little fish, you're going to always be put in these, I don't know why this keeps happening to me situations because... Your mindset and your backbone are weak. Your mindset and your backbone need an upgrade. Your software needs to update. So your mindset isn't right. Maybe you grew up being the pushover. Maybe you grew up and you got bullied. Maybe, you know, your siblings always picked on you. Maybe your siblings never, you know you know, always blame things on you. Maybe you just thought, you know, always saying yes to everything is the answer to world peace. Maybe you thought you can smile your way into everyone treating you right. And that's just not reality. You know, Uh, it's not bad that you have a good heart. It's bad that you don't have the vision of who deserves your good heart. Who deserves your kindness? It's like respect. Your kindness should be earned. It shouldn't be. uh, It shouldn't be this thing you give to everybody, because what happens? There are people in this world looking for people like you to use, manipulate. And ultimately, we all get used, but nobody wants to get misused. And we 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 don't we don't feel like the victim until we feel like we were misused or mistreated. And your mind is going to tell you your mind has the sight. But no strength, your backbone has all the strength, but it doesn't see. So when you get when you put yourself in a situation and it's like, whoa, your mind's like, I've been through this before. Your backbone has to be able to go, nah, not again. Mm -mm. I'm going to stand up for this. I'm going to fight this. I'm not going to put myself in that. I'm going to redirect. I'm going to redirect. This feels familiar. I'm not doing this again. Just like that. Mm, This reminds me of that. I've been there before. Mm, I'm going to stick for myself. I'm sorry if I have a... I, it's not even I'm sorry about how I'm about to come off, but every time you don't choose yourself, you get more of what you've been getting. Now you're the victim again. Damn, why does this keep happening to me? Damn, I got fucked over again. Damn, she used me. Damn, he used me. Damn, I felt lied to, manipulated. Oh, they lied to me. Oh, I got the short end of things. 
Oh, I did something I didn't want to do. Well, you didn't stand up for yourself. You didn't speak up. You knew better, but you didn't do better. And that's your mindset and the backbone. So for whatever reason, those two areas, when it comes to not standing up for yourself, is just weak. It, it just needs to get strengthened. It needs a, a, a 2.0. It needs to upgrade because you're going to keep getting more of what you've been getting because of your energy, which is your approach and how you handle situations. And it's lack of awareness of who you are. It's lack of awareness of how you see yourself in the bigger picture. Sometimes people don't see. Sometimes people are happy. You don't see what you bring to the table. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like the fact that you're blind is somebody else's blessing. You, your blindness is someone else's blessing because until you're aware of it, they're going to keep using you. Until you're aware of it, they're going to keep manipulating you. They're going to keep lying to you. They're going to ride that wave. They're going to milk you until the day hits you and you have the vision. Whether that day takes a couple months, a couple years, a couple decades, however long it takes, it's going to happen. It always happens, actually. But on your end, you need the sight. You need the awareness to go. No more. I've been here before. I know what this feels like. I know if I open that door, what this feels like. Hmm. This person just showed me their true colors. I don't need them in my life. Hmm. They just played their hand. I've been there before. And that's the thing with victims. You've been there before. You've been there before. Something in that familiarity has to trigger your backbone to kick in. Because it's like, how many times do you want to go through the same BS over and over and over and over and over and over again and cry and be sad and pout and go, damn, it happened to me again. Damn, why does this keep happening to me? I don't know why this keeps happening to me. And the answer is already in you. It's you. You're the problem. Your mindset and your backbone. Your mindset and your backbone. Maybe you think people pleasing is a good thing. It's not. Advocate for yourself. Stick up for yourself. You have to be your own parent. Because maybe, maybe you're so used to other people sticking up for you that when you're alone in this world, you don't know how to stick up for yourself. Maybe you've never had that. But this episode is an awareness piece. It's a tool. When your mind is right and your backbone is right there with it, like a tag team partner, you become indestructible. You become a fly swatter. Because all these little moves presented at you, are like little flies. These little obstacles become little flies. And now you could just swat them. Nope, not today. Psh, psh, nope, good try. Good luck, devil. Good try, devil. And now you're no longer the little fish. You become the whale that these sharks have to swim by. Because they're like, oh, that, that, nah, he's too big. I can't, even, I can't even try to go for a munch. You won't attract gold diggers. You won't attract manipulators anymore. Even if you do attract them, you know how to handle them. That's the most important part. Being able to handle all the funny moves. Being able to handle these funny people. Being able to maneuver in this world without getting the short end of things. Without always being the victim Whenever you feel like the victim, you had multiple choices. You had multiple chances to avoid putting yourself in that situation simply by sticking up for yourself. You didn't like how a negotiation went down. Well, guess what? You didn't negotiate your end. You didn't negotiate what would make you happy. You put yourself in this people-pleasing motion where you just said yes, 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 yes to everything. And then when it's all said and done, now you're like, oh man, you know, you made a bad deal. You didn't charge your rate. 
you didn't tell your girlfriend, you know, what you, you know, what your non-negotiables are, whether it's in a relationship, it's in business, it's in life. You didn't say your terms. You didn't speak your terms. You didn't advocate for why you stand for what you stand for. So guess what? When it was time to fall for anything, you fell for it everything you fell for it all because you didn't have a backbone and a backbone is simply you having your own protocols having your own rules your own guidelines nah i don't stand for that Mm -mm. i i can't agree with these things i nah this ain't this ain't my my type of my my this ain't my dance this ain't my song whatever it is it starts with you knowing what you're not gonna tolerate and actually stand up for them. And sometimes it's okay to hear that. It's okay to say no. The world doesn't end when you say no. Think about how many times people say no to you, close the door on you, don't agree with you, don't support you, don't follow up with what they say they'll do for you. How did that make you feel? Did you die? Maybe you were disappointed. Maybe you just moved on and didn't care. But understand it's the same thing when you tell other people no. Because sometimes if somebody knows they're finessing you or if they know they're coming to you with a bullshit deal. They know it's a bullshit deal. They know they're giving you a small slice of the big cake. So you catching it, you being aware of it will never be the end of the world for them. Sometimes you got to let people know you know what type of time they're on. You got to know what type of page they're reading from. Oh, you know, because it, it's going to feel like deja vu after a while. The more you start catching it, the more you're aware of it, it's going to feel like an episode on repeat. And you're going to go, whoa, I've been here before. No, thank you. You know. And it, 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 you'll almost get a satisfaction from somebody trying you. You're going to feel so good that, <laughs> whoa. Because now when somebody comes to you with bullshit, they're showing you what level they are on. And you've done so much work now. You have all the tools now. It's like you want to laugh at them. Not to be funny, not to be fucked up. You almost want to laugh because it's like, You're really trying this maneuver on me. They don't know the work you've been through. They don't know the drama you've been through. They don't know the BS you've been through. They also don't know all the work you've been through. So now it's time you got to stand up for yourself and show them who you are. You know what I'm saying? Show them your LeBron. Show them your Kobe. Show them your Steph. Because they're expecting you to be a a bench player. Show them you know how to hold your own on the court. But as long as you're not aware of your victim tendencies, your victim mindset, you're going to keep being the victim. You're going to keep getting the short end. You're going to keep getting manipulative people, people who want to use you, people who want to abuse you, mistreat you, open your fridge, eat your cookies, drink your milk, drink your juice, go in the freezer, eat all your ice cream and go, oops, my bad. I didn't know that was yours or Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay you back. Oh, I got you next time and never do nothing. Because they know they can walk all over you. They know you're a pushover. They know you don't stand for nothing. So if you don't stand for nothing, you're easy to be stepped on. You're easy to be eaten like a fish. and, And they're the sharks. And guess what? People who use people never feel bad about it. That's what I've been learning. Never think somebody feels bad for doing you dirty. They just feel bad that they get caught. They just, and that's temporarily because why? What they, what they know how to do is all they know how to do. But you have to know better to do better. You have to see better to be aware, to catch things. If you have no sight, you have no vision. If you can't see what's happening, you can't see the plays that are being transpired right in front of you, you'll always be the victim. Some great ways to improve your mindset and your backbone is to start working out. Start reading books. You know where you need to improve. Start working on these things today. 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 Not tomorrow. Not 
two seconds from now, today, right now, right after this podcast. But nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to stick up for you like you should stick up for you. You know better, but you're scared to do better. And now it's the time to do better. This episode should trigger something in you, shift something in you. But you have to know better, you to do better. And it starts with your mindset and your backbone. If your backbone is weak, go to the gym, work out. Talk to that one friend who will tell you the ugly truth. Stop hanging with yes men. Maybe you, you hang around a bunch of yes men, so you yourself are your yes man. But there are tools available to you right now to, is to begin improving, to begin the change that you need to start changing. You need to... It's not a it's not an overnight thing, but again, I'm all about awareness because once you can see a new path has been created. Because now with the sight, you have something to stick up for. With the mindset, the awareness, the knowledge, the wisdom. Because with experience comes wisdom. Now that you have experience of what you don't want no more, you have the wisdom, you have the tools, you are equipped. Because no matter what BS you go through, you always get more of it. And it's up to you to go, not today, no thanks, good try. All right, guys, I'm out. (laughs)